Okay, I just want to show you guys a script I worked on a while ago. It will raise your understanding in instantiating objects and for loops and where to put the objects once they're instantiated. So I'll just show you what this script does. I've got this game object here, well, prefab called uh, diamond. It's just a simple model of a green diamond. And uh, let me show you guys what I've done. When I click create elements, the diamonds are created around the character. So that's all the script does. I can do it again. I can do it as many times as I want actually. So, Okay, I'm going to show you guys how this works. I've got a public variable here, the number of elements I want to create is 20 at the moment. If I drop it down to 10, that'll probably look better actually. Yeah, there's 10 now. So, As well as the number of elements I can create, if I go to Mono Develop, I can also change the distance I've put as a private float, but you want to make it public if you want to experiment with this. I've got it 10 units away from the character. I can make it 20 if I wanted to and spread them out a bit. By the way guys, Unity measures units in meters, so we've changed this to 20 meters away. They're yeah, much better now. So how does this work? Well, I've got a method here called create elements, and this method's called every time I press a button I've created on the on GUI method. I've got a counter here of how much elements have been created. I've declared it at the top as a private integer and this just keeps track of how many objects I've instantiated. I've uh, I've declared the actual name of the new object. I've put the the uh, the count at the end of this object so we get unique names. We don't want any duplicated object names so we can refer to them uniquely, guys. Okay? I've called this I've called a float the angle iteration. This is how much the angle progresses through the for loop and we we times this by the the for loop counter so i so the first object's rotation is going to be at zero, the second one's going to be double that, then the third one's going to be three times that, etc, etc. So this way, if we divide it by 360, the number of elements by 360, we can get an even amount of rotation throughout the whole cycle, guys. So all the objects are going to surround the character by the same iteration. So next up, we create the actual objects. We instantiate the diamond object. We copy the player's position and the player's rotation. So it's going to be created right in the center of a character on this frame. And we've cast it as a transform. And we change the names to the name we generated above here. And um, the next thing we do is actually move the object in place. Here we actually rotate the object to the, the angle we want to rotate it. We worked it up here and we move the object outwards in its forward direction so we move it outward by the distance we we assigned up here where is it there is and that's all it is we, this method just loops through the number of elements creates it and moves it out in its rotation so if we press play now i can see it again boom all the all the diamonds start off in the center of the character's location they're rotated an equal amount each time and then they're moved outwards to their position guys that's how it works so play around with the script you can use it for a lot of things it's really interesting scripts you can use it to drop bombs and grenades you can stick rigid bodies on these things you can you can animate them they can fly around the character they can you can change the scale you can do anything you want guys your imagination is a limit here so i just want to show you the script if you want me to upload it so you can play with it let me know and i'll do that so thank